have you with us. Good morning, Melissa. Thanks for having me. So sustained out-of-store purchases, basically. So based the takeout remain high even after the pandemic. Was that surprising? What do you, what do you attribute, attribute that to? Uh, so let me give you some context okay. to, and to answer the question. So before the pandemic, tw up to 2019, Applebee's and IHOP both had less than 10% of their business was off-prem. And since the pandemic, they're 20 to 25%. And that number has been holding steady for three, four, five, six quarters. So the brands have become part of the takeout consideration set in a way that they weren't before. 70% of that business is incremental, so it's, it's new to us. 70% 70, 70 of that takeout business is incremental because we, didn't, we literally didn't have it before. And it became a new behavior for consumers. You know, one of the insights that we've seen is the question used to be first, what do I want for dinner? Pizza, hamburger, chicken. Now the question's become, how do I want to get my dinner? Takeout, delivery, cook it myself. And then you say, chicken, burgers. And so we've become relevant across multiple channels. Is this a higher margin dollar earned because it's off premise and you don't have wait staff, you don't have the cleanup, you know, the in, in restaurant sort of costs associated with that dollar? It's about the same because of the fees for the third party delivery companies. Mm -hmm. So there's a trade off between labor and the, the fees for the delivery companies. Um, how are you dealing with food prices? And I ask that, I mean, you know, I can go to lunch here to the extent that there's any restaurants still open and pay a lot more than I did a year ago or two years ago. What are you doing to manage your, your sort of cost to the consumer and how much has it gone up over the last year? So uh, our cost of goods into the restaurant have increased 22% in, in Q2, driven by poultry, eggs, oils, many of the things that you know, you've, you've, been, you've been talking about with, with your viewers. Um, and so we benefit from having a $2 billion purchasing co-op. So on behalf of Applebee's and IHOP, we purchased $2 billion of goods, which enables us to lock in contracts um, and procure hard to, get, hard to get items. Our franchisees raised prices in the last quarter 7 to 10%, depending on the brand. So you know, our brands are all about value and delivering great value to our customers, great food, generous portions, a wonderful environment. And they took a very prudent approach. You know, they didn't raise prices 22%. They raised prices 7 to 10 because they've got to both balance their margins and also make sure that we stay in our customers' sweet spot where they can still yeah, come and see us. What is that sweet spot? What is your sense of it based on, I guess, historical comparisons, that, you know, where you would go too far and you would really diminish demand? You know, our, our average check has been steady now for, for six months. So what we're seeing is, is we haven't, we haven't um, priced ourselves out of their, their sweet spot. Um, and so we, we focus on delivering sort of value add at a time like this. You know, so Applebee's is doing um, all you can eat shrimp for a dollar with um, any purchase of a steak. IHOP is doing with our minions menu, um, kids eat free from four to ten. So we focus on value add that people can come in and sort of and you know, expand their offering with a, with a limited price. If your average check has remained basically the same but you increase price by seven to ten percent, the customers are ordering less? There's a little bit of remixing, right? So, so you know, our interpretation of that is because average check is the same and we've raised prices, exactly. Um, there's a little bit of water instead of soda, you know, one app instead of two in order to manage the average check. Is there also five wings instead of seven going on? No, no. <laughs> that, and that's something that we'll never move away from, right? Because we're, we're one of our core values is being value-oriented brands and consumers know that that's what you come to Applebee's and IHOP for. So the portions will always remain the same. Um, it's really about the way in which we package value offerings for our guests.